We're in Spearfish visiting with our high school girls soccer coach, Katrina Huft. And Katrina, your first time here on Black Hills TV. Hey, thanks for taking time to visit about the program. Absolutely. Thank you for having me today. You just finished the regular season at 10 and 4. Next is playoffs, but uh, boy, what a great season. You know, the girls have just come out and played really tough, really strong. They've stayed united as a team, and um, that has shown with our 10 and 4 record this year. This team talks a lot about um, what it means to play with pure joy and a winning heart. And that pure joy isn't just being happy-go-lucky all the time, but that pure joy is a choice to choose to overcome, to choose to play to the best of one's ability. And pure joy is that moment that you first fell in love with the game and all you ever wanted to do was play the game. And so we talk a lot about what it means to emulate that on the field. And a winning heart doesn't always mean that the scoreboard says that you won. A winning heart is playing and never giving up, never quitting. And these girls choose to play with pure joy and a winning heart. And that's what makes us who we are. Katrina, how about yourself? When did you start playing soccer? My senior year of high school. Wow, not when you were six, seven years old. <laughs> no, um, I played my senior year of high school and two years in college and then started coaching um, in 2013 right after that. When I was a senior, I was a trackster, so I grew up in Wyoming, and um, it was soccer in the spring, the same with track season. And we were a track family, and um, my strength and conditioning coach, he just started talking to me about soccer and that I would be a good asset to the team, and so I decided to go out for soccer my senior year and ended up getting to start on defense. Um, I fell in love with the game. I couldn't get enough of soccer, and um, I was fortunate enough to be able to go on and play two years in college after just playing a high school season. And um, that wasn't easy. It was a very tough thing to go and play against girls who had been playing their entire lives and to have teammates who'd been playing since they were four or five, six years old. But it taught me so much about myself and my coach sat me down and he gave me a job and he told me that my job was to go out and to push those starters to make them the best that they could be. And that was something that just really stuck with me. And then my sophomore year, I never came out of a game, um, which was a, really a big blessing and just taught me a lot about perseverance. And being able to now coach, I believe that that has helped me to know how to explain things better because it wasn't so long ago that I myself was first starting. Katrina, what are some of the more tougher games you had this year? We came out and um, played Pierre right off the bat, who has um, been state champs um, over the last few years. And it was come, fun to come out and get a win against them right from the start of our season. Right after that, we went and played um, Sioux, Sioux Falls teams and just had a tough time getting going with those schools, but it gave us a lot of opportunity to kind of see where we were at. Uh, at the beginning of this season. More recently, the tougher teams that we've played would have been Rapid City Central and Stevens. And um, both those teams do a great job of winning the ball out of the year. Our girls have done an awesome job of just connecting passes and being able to work the ball all across the field. And so to get a win against Central was huge for us this year. With a 10-4 record, you head into the playoffs now. And that starts on Tuesday and uh, tell us about that. So we're going to play Watertown on Tuesday here at the Black Hill Sports Complex in Spearfish at 4 o'clock and we're fifth in the state and so it's really fun to be able to host and get to stay at home on a Tuesday that first round of playoffs and the girls are pumped, they're ready, they're looking forward to going into state. What's some of the keys to that good record? It all starts with our goalkeeper works through our defense, our midfield, and up top to our um, scorers. We have had an awesome time just scoring goals this season, not just with our strikers and our um, outside mids, but just through the whole team all the way back to our defense have also gotten some goals scored. And so just working together as a team and um, coming out and capitalizing on scoring opportunities. All right. Well, Katrina, we appreciate you taking time to visit and 
Congratulations on a great season. Good luck in the playoffs. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yep.